Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, I'm going to take a problem from Hong Kong Mass Olympiad from 2021. Here I have an equation and I need to find some of all real roots that this equation is going to have. The equation itself includes two terms. I have power of 4 of 2 times the fifth root of x plus 1 minus 1 as you are seeing here. The second term is going to be similar to the first term, but instead of negative 1, I have negative 3. Sum of these two terms is 16. Let's see how we are going to solve that. But first, let me show you the original problem, and then we will talk about the solution. This is the problem itself. It came as problem number 7 in the competition. It had one mark, as you are seeing here. Other things are the same as we've discussed. Now let's talk about the solution. If you take a look at the equation itself, you see that the two terms that I have here are very similar. One of them is negative one and the other one is negative three. So the natural thing that I'm going to do is to try to combine them together. To do that, I'm going to start with a new variable like y. I defined it as two times the fifth root of x plus 1 minus 2. Based on that, the first term is going to be y plus 1 to the power of 4, and the second term is going to be y minus 1 to the power of 4. The rest is going to be the same. Obviously, you can simplify it in different ways. However, I'm trying to show you how we can easily simplify this type of equation. The first thing that I'm going to do is to write the whole equation in another format. Remember, if we have a squared plus b squared, we can write it as a plus one to the power of two minus two times a b. Now here, I'm going to use the same trick, but instead of using a and b, I have y plus 1 to the power of 2 and y minus 1 to the power of 2. Using this trick, I'm going to rewrite the whole expression as two terms. The first term is going to be a power of 2, and the second term is going to be 2 times a product of two terms individually. Now, to simplify it further, I can just try to simplify each term separately. For the first one, I have power of 2 of y plus 1 plus power of 2 of y minus 1. I'm going to rewrite it as 2 times y squared plus 2. And at the end, I need to take power of 2 of this. For the second term, I'm going to rewrite it as 2 times y squared minus 1 to the power of 2. The reason is simple. You can take out power of 2 from both sides and then first multiply them together and then apply power of 2. Now, if we divide everything by 2, we will end up with 2 times power of 2 of y squared plus 1 minus power of 2 of y squared minus 1 equals to 8. Now I'm going to continue to simplify it further. For the first term, I'm going to just take power of 2 of each term and write it as y to the power of 4 plus 2 times y to the power of 2 plus 1. For the second term, I'm going to use the same approach. Here, I'm going to end up with power of 4 of y plus 1 minus 2 times power of 2 of y. Now, after applying some simplification, I will end up with y to the power of 4 plus 6 times y squared minus 7 equals to 0. This is indeed easy to solve because I only have y to the power of 4 and y to the power of 2. If you just use an identity that you remember, we're going to end up writing y squared minus 1 times y squared plus 7 equals to 7. Now, let's see what we're going to get out of it. The first term can be 0, but the second term cannot be 0 in real numbers. 
So I will end up with having plus minus one for y. For the case that y equals to one, I will see the fifth root of x plus one is going to be three over two, or x plus one is going to be power of five of three over two, and x is going to be power of five of three over two minus one. You can see if I use negative one for y, I'm going to end up with negative 31 over 32 for x. Now the rest is going to be CZ. I just need to add the two values that I got for roots and we will see that in a bit. Basically, I'm going to add 211 over 32 and negative 31 over 32. I will end up with 180 over 32 and after simplification, we will see 45 over 8 as the final answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel and I hope to see you in the next video.